Hey everybody, this is Buddy. I'm here with Leon and I'm going to get him to tell a little bit about his story, how he became known as Leon the Lobster Man of the famous Leon Lobster Hut. Yeah, actually I started out in diving. I was in Ocho Rios. Yes, I'm from a fishing village. My father, he was a fisherman, yeah. I started out in Ocho Rios, start to dive, I teach, I instruct diving. Then I leave Ocho Rios, came to Chilarni. After beating Chilarni for like quite a few years, I migrate to America. I, I end up in California, started to dive abalone, come back to Miami. I didn't like Miami. I end up in Maine, started to dive sea urchin. Maine known as a lobster place, crazy lobster place. People come from all over the world to Maine just for lobster. So while I was living in Maine, I checked that out a lot. So when I come back home, I tried to do lobster business on the beach. Oh, yes, for a lobster business, like any other business, on the start it's so-so, but it's climbing up the ladder and I give thanks for that. But thank God for Maine, you know? Maine is the place for lobster. And that's where I begin to sell lobster because when I come home, I remember that summertime, People come from all over the world to Maine just for lobster. There's a lot of lobster place in Maine. You know what I'm saying? So here I am in Jamaica again doing my lobster thing, yeah? Yeah. I love it. So I you love the people. You learned how to cook in Maine or No, my grandmother she taught me about different seasoning to different meat. And I learned that from her. Lobster known as like it's good to have garlic butter with lobster or lemon, something, some different sauces, you know? Yeah. That's how I learned about lobster. My grandma teach me about the different seasoning to the different spice to the different meat, you know? Yeah. Yes. So you've been literally doing this for how many years on oh. this beach? Oh, this beach, I've been doing it for, since 2000. I started lobster business 2000. Okay. It have its ups and down, but it's coming up. And so you've got three sons that are in Maine now. Two. Two is in Maine. One is in North Dakota. Okay. So yes. the two that's in Maine, um, they're both in the lobster catching business. No. One is a um, he's a marine. He's a he's a he's a he's in the marine. He's in the marine, and one he is in the lobster thing. Marcos is the bigger one. He's in the lobster thing. Marcus is the one I've met. Yes, and Leon. Leon is my last son. He is a corporal in the Marines. Okay. okay. Also, my the one that is before them, his name is Dwayne. He's in North Dakota doing catering, yeah? Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to ask you a question about your TripAdvisor page. Yes. How is it that you get so many good reviews? Oh, just because of Mr. Buddy. Mr. Buddy, he helps me out a lot with my trip advisor, you know? And he always making it excited. People keep coming and telling me about Buddy. He's a great man, you know? He's the man. Well, you're the man. You're, you've, you've done something that actually, when they meet you and they're, they're eating with you and um, you're sharing a meal with them, it's something about it that they go back, even if they don't know you have a trip advisor page, they find it and they write reviews but yes um you when you come here all you got to do is compare his trip advisor page with the royalty white sand or the blue water or for that matter anywhere in this entire side of the island his reviews are that good oh yes they tell managers they come and see me sometime and say how oh, how oh, and hurt and having you you, you got so much reviews. I said it's a good work, it's loyalty, honesty. You have to be with the people, you know? Do good. And you entertain them when you're here. Yes. And he puts the lobster on. He wants everybody to be full. He right. wants everybody right. to be happy. Yes. And see, that transpires into good reviews. So that's your secret, huh? Yes, Mr. Yeah. Buddy. Thank you, man. All right. See you.